Pixel Bethel here, helping you find out how to make your blind. In this upload, we show you how we winged it making our own magnetic reversible blinds for our van. They are custom fit, effective, multi-use and will save you a few quid. What more can you want? Blue Peter badge, I'm awaiting your delivery. I'm not happy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leanne and welcome back to Travels of Ethel. This one is a van upgrade one. We are not out and about traveling anywhere. And in this vlog, I'm going to show you how I'm going to remake my blinds. When we did Ethel a little glow up, Leanne made these blinds, which have been brilliant for what they are. Um, but for some reason, they just the magnets don't seem to stick right. The other reason is like as we did, we did the, we made the last ones really, really fast. Um, I made them with my mom, and we used spray glue which has been fantastic because it held it in place. However, through wear and tear, as you can see, the finish is not fantastic. If this was the only problem, I probably would have just got some material and stuck it down, you know, just to cover these and re-secure them. However, because I want a different effect, I'm gonna remake them. What am I going to need to make these blinds I hear you say? Obviously I don't. <laughs> so, you, hardly, you don't need a lot to do this. I'm using a sewing machine. You could hand sew if you wanted to. Um, I have got some material from a haberdashery. That's our fabric shop. Um, I've gone from the, for this because it's quite thin, so then it'll dry out if any condensation goes on it. It's quite hard wearing, and it's it's got a quite a lot of like plastic base to it. So I'm hoping that'll make it a little bit more waterproof. Um, we've gone for grey so it'll black out but also so in black because our van is grey. You will also need a roll of this. I just got it off eBay. It's been absolutely fine. It's not expensive. You get absolutely tons. And lastly, you will need magnets. Now these are the most expensive thing you're going to buy. I'm probably going a bit over the top with the amount of magnets that I put on but I like it to be really secure so it traps out any, any drafts. Um, these are okay, this size, however, these are much better. Um, I'm going to start by taking the old ones apart because I really need to keep the magnets because they were quite expensive and there's nothing wrong with them. If you are going to be like me and give it a go, I've got you a top tip. Get yourself a metal surface that you can stick them on that can hold them apart until you need to put them to your new blinds. Because once they get like this, they are a blowing nightmare to get apart. However, let me show you my ingenious invention. I am using a chair leg, one of our stools. And look, I've stuck all my magnets to it so they don't all stick together because these are so much easier to take off when you want to use them. Now for some of you that were probably common sense. Me, however, had to learn the hard way. And now I'm going to have to run to Oliver and get him to pull me these like these bonds apart because I just can't do it and I need them. Can you do my magnets? So while I am busy on the blinds, Oliver is busy sorting out the bases and rebuilding our beds to make them really sturdy. So that will be in another vlog if you want to check that out. Because this is the second time of me making these blinds, I've already got them cut to size. So I'm using the old ones and I'm just going to lay it down and cut them out exactly the same because this is the exact same size. If you're doing this for the first time, you can either be really good like Oliver and measure proper or wing it like I did and just hold them up at the window and cut and then just keep trimming away until it's the right size. I have cut around now and I've got a template so that's good because I'm going to use this for my material and um, I've rounded the corners and I do mine so it fits not just to the window of the pane of glass but to the black seal around because I'm trying to trap out as much of the draft as I can. When I now come to cut my material, I'll be, leave, leave, I'll be leaving an edge, enough for me to fold it over so I have got a nice clean finish, and then fold it over again for the width of my, uh, my magnets. And then, so I've got enough material to sew it along this edge. It'll depend on the size of your magnets 
and whether or not you want to overhang it. It works out best that for us because then it sticks to the metal better on the door frame rather than it attaching to the actual window seal, which is plastic. As I'm starting to measure up, I am going to start moving my piece of material into like I've laid the insulation material on top of the material that I want on the outside and I've got myself a magnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want myself to have a fold there so I've got a nice clean side after I've sewn. I then want the magnet but I also need a bit of excess so it sits onto my thermal blind. So once I kind of know where I want my thermal blind, I'm kind of scooting that across because I'm going to want my magnet next to that. So first of all, before I start, I'm going to kind of ish get it in place for the right distance all the way along. Um, then I'm using my pins and I'm going to pin this into place so it doesn't keep moving as I'm going round and measuring and trying to get it the same gap. So that will hold this securely once I've got a few more in. So it'll allow me to measure up whereabouts I want my material and then I'm going to cut. Poor Oliver's going to die when he sees this video and how I've just measured using my four fingers. Not even a straight edge in use. Now to pin it in place with all the magnets ready to sew. So as you can see, I've pinned all the way along, including a turned edge, so it's a nice finish um, on my blinds. Um, I've put pins each side of each magnet so then they don't wobble out of place. Um, as I'm sewing along, I'm also going to be sewing up and back down and going along because I need to keep these where they are so then as we use them, they don't just end up moving along and all sticking together. this is a tent, big one. Once the blind was all pinned into place, we trialled it at the window to make sure it would fit before we took the time to sew it. Oh, it's, it, oh no, that's going to be loads better. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to wedge that in because I'm going to stab this end, but that's loads better. Leanne? How long have you been at this now? Too long. How are you feeling towards it? Yeah, it's it. Next time we're buying them. Yeah, but look how beautiful you're doing it. I'm not happy. <laughs> so there is a slight areas, well, there's quite a few where me and the sewing machine have evidently fallen out. So maybe this for help video might help you plan and put your own blinds together or maybe it will encourage you to pay somebody that knows what they're doing. I don't know. I don't know what your sewing skills are. However, I have now achieved making my blinds. Well, one of my blinds. Two actually. This is one side. They're really flexible. And look how small and neat they roll up. So I'm gonna try them in the van. What I was gonna do is I'm gonna try it at the window and then I'm gonna show you. So, whoa, don't come in. So that, I knew it fitted and I knew it had worked. God, I hate you. However, in true Travels of Ethel form, we're just gonna go for it. Can you move please? I'm trying my thing. Come on, that off one then. Move? Hey, you wanna try it at that size? Move please. That boy is so much of a pain. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my god. Eat face! I am just going to try and show you how I've done these. So remember when I said I cut it to this size? Well actually I'd overcut it a bit because I did last time. But I actually want my magnets to stick to here and here. Do you know so then they're like stick inwards and stop any draft from this outer edge oh god my video skills are terrible from this outer edge so if you put that on there as you can hear they just absolutely grab tight and then you can just like shove it all into the corners like so and i'm hoping that that prevents any draft at night time and as I said, I've done them reversible. I did ask somebody's opinion on this on one of the Facebook groups and they were like, make them reversible. So we're gonna put material on both sides so it were blacked out and nice and neat on the inside. However, this is in sunshine mode. So the shiny bit is on the outside to reflect any sunshine. And this is in nighttime mode. So the shiny bit will come to the inside, yeah. It doesn't look amazing. However, on the outside, look at this. It's all blacked out and in the dark, that will be so, so, so much better. I mean, Ethel needs a clean because Oliver's been using, well, chopping stuff up, but how cool. I've got three more to make. Oh, sorry, five, because there's these little top windows up here. So I might have five more to make, however, maybe these will be easier i hope you've enjoyed watching my how to make blackout blinds for your camper van um, it's not really cost a great deal and it's just sometimes nice to make something yourself to have in your little quirky van yeah so we struggle to buy things for ours because it's an old van obviously model modern stuff it's just designed for new stuff so you have to make it um, she's done a right good job actually it looks, <laughs> it looks brilliant to be fair i mean it's so all day to, make, to one make one but it looks brilliant so well done love i do like as well that when you make them yourself you can customize them you can have them whatever colors you can make them reversible whatever size so do you know what just give it a go if you fancy having it go what's worse that can happen really well that's it so that is us that is it from us if you've liked this how to video how to can you remember that yeah. um please give us a like uh, drop us a comment, let us know what you've um, customised on your van, if you have customised out, if you've got any plans or anything like that. We are going to be putting a playlist together of all us van upgrades and doing it a bit separate, you know, from his travels and stuff, so maybe then you can come along with us and watch. Thumbs up. Oh, so I've got Oliver and the cat coming. <laughs> Welcome back to Travels of Ethel. If you've been here before... Right, go on, start again. Sometimes it's just nice to have something that you've done yourself. Yeah, so... <laughs> start again. Start again. Welcome back, everybody. This is Travels of Ethel. Today... I think my camera's going to cut the start of that off. When we first started this project, we... Well, started... I didn't know whether anybody would be stupid enough to think that they could make their own blinds. Well, probably if you are good at sewing and things like that. Me, myself, I am crap. However, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <clears throat> I sometimes wonder whether I ought to just realize what my limits are. Because I am here sewing this bloody stupid blind, right? This is one of about eight and it's took me all day i think i've re-threaded the throw machine the sewing machine about eighteen thousand times yeah that that's like rather being dramatic but do you know just a minute i'm feeling massively dramatic um do you know i'm trying to keep me cool but it's really really limiting me oh, Freaking foots fell off again. <laughs> <laughs>